Hello everyone, um, this is the first experiment on the Fundamental Physics Laboratory. So due to the pandemic situation, so we are going to have online experiments. Then the data will come up at the end of the um, videos or at the end of the, the, the sessions. And then you are ready for the calculus and analysis. You provide the report and submit it uh, to the assistants then we will evaluate what you uh, can do your best okay this is the density of matters the first experiment uh, on the fundamental physics so what the aims of this experiment is to determine kind of the solid materials or objects and liquid objects materials and tools that we are going to use for this experiment. I'll try to explain one by one. Uh, from the top left corner here we have the scale or the balance. This is the torsional balance. So this is pretty much uh, very familiar for all the students. So that the purpose you use this scale is because you need to know what is the mass. Yeah. Back to the uh, row formula, you need to know the volume of your objects and the mass. Okay, then left we move right. Uh, this is uh, the pycnometers. So this is kind of the containers, very, very fine containers made of glass with a very specific and very thorough volume on it so this is made of a special glass so the volume is going to be not quite varying when the temperature is uh, varied so the next one is furnier caliper this is um, the length measurement so you can find very very thorough measurements through the furnier caliper you can put your objects on the jaws between um, the static and the dynamic jaws on the bottom and then you will see the zero scale on the Fernie caliper corresponding to your mind scales and so on and so on. From the first, the second and the third scale, pycnometers and Fernier caliper are going to use for the determinations of the, the density for a solid which is um, wooden block as well as sand. For the bottom left corner here, more West Paul balance, what we had here is the left picture and the right one is just coming from the internet. So more West Paul balance uh, are pretty much uh, like the balance that you have the mass on the right hand side and then uh, the needle which is it's going to be very balanced between the left and right so the torsional between left and right is zero so then it's quite balanced. Once you have the object on the right then the torsional is going to be uh, positive on the right and that's going to be imbalanced conditions. So by using the more West Pal balance uh, we are going to be able to determine uh, the density of uh, the object here. The density of the material which is liquid is able to be determined using more West Pal balance. So in this case you're going to use methanol. Uh, first of all, um, we are going to determine the density of the wooden block in the very uh, precise cube shape. So you need to measure the width, the length and the height of it, the object. So you can use the Fernier caliper in this regard. Um, this is the, the example of how you measure the, the, the width of uh, your object. So for example, the wooden object you put in between of the, the, the bottom jaws on your Fernier caliper and then you read through the uh, nonier scales which is uh, Fernier scales regarding uh, relatively to the, the main scales on your sliding through. So um, this is the first step you need to determine and take the data of your object which is the wooden cube. Um, uh, so in this step we're going to measure or weighing the objects on your balance. So first of all, you just put your object on the scale or on the balance. It's going to be um, in balance. So you need to put back the balance of your um, scale. So on the balance or on the scale, you will see that there's couples of sensitivity. The first one is going to be the very large mass you can move to left and right 
and the second one you're gonna have the the medium one or might be the the smaller one then the very fine one is just the little mass which you can slide through left and right so then once you have done by the formula of the volume you calculate from the multiplication of length width and height so by knowing the mass and the volume so you will already know the the density of your objects okay the next one to determine the density of sand first of all we need to determine the weight of the pycnometer as a container so put it in the scales weight it up properly then you will get the mass empty pycnometer pycnometer now fill it up with sand about one third in volume and then you weight it on the scale now then what you need to do is fill up with the water um, as much as uh, it's gonna be very full so you will have the mixture between water and sand then um, you need to shake it gently and properly so to make sure that uh, the water can fill up the rooms uh, between uh, the sand's particles okay then put the lid back on to the pycnometer and then you're ready to measure uh, the weight of um, this system the sand the water and the pycnometer you need to empty the pycnometer and fill it up fully with water so make sure there is no sense make sure that it's empty then fill it up with just water fully water and then um, you need to measure to know what the the mass of pycnometer and the water in it okay so then you're ready for the calculations now we come up with the last um, experiment which is to determine the density of liquid in this experiment we are using methanol Okay, so this is what actually happening when you are using the more response balance. First of all, you need to make sure that the needles in the left end here are pointing to zero, which is all the systems are in balance. As you already have the liquid in some um, containers, for example, and then you put your object, which is more object, uh, into uh, the liquid. So put it immersing into the liquid and then you will see that the buoyance will be produced to lift the, 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 uh, the balance up. You need to apply um, the masses along the axis. So there are notches so you can uh, modify in which configuration the masses need to be applied. Once the, the balance uh, is back to the system so you just multiply the torch um, all of the masses so for example the first mass times the first arms plus the second mass times the another arms the second arms and so on and so on so you will be able to determine the buoyance force okay because all of the total force here um, occupy um, uh, indicating the buoyance force produced by your liquid so by doing the formula of the Archimedes force and this moment um, tors uh, torsions or moments so you're able to determine um, the density of your liquid all right
So enjoy the video and we will be happy for some questions. So good luck with your calculations, with your analysis. Thank you.